I mean, I hope, I just hope the, the robots are nice to us. Machines reaching the point where they are smarter than humans? Is that actually possible? What if I told you experts in the field are now declaring they have enough research to pinpoint exactly when AGI will be obtained? Archie here, your guide to the world of AI, and I think you're going to want to see this. Artificial intelligence has come a long way, but there's a key distinction between what we have now and what's envisioned for the future. To get a better grasp of the concept, imagine an intelligence that plays chess like a grandmaster. Not just that, but can also write a beautiful sonnet about the experience. That's the core idea behind artificial general intelligence. And that is going to change with uh, what's typically called artificial general intelligence. Uh, so this is, say, an AI that is uh, smarter than a human in every way, could, could even simulate a human. In essence, AGI refers to a hypothetical form of AI that mimics human-level intelligence across various domains. Unlike today's narrow AI, which excels at specific tasks like recognizing faces or driving cars, AGI aspires to a broader kind of thinking, much like a machine that can not only solve complex math problems, but also understand the underlying concepts and use them to tackle entirely new challenges. That's what we are talking about. AGI is still a hypothetical concept presently, but there are predictions that we might achieve AGI sooner than we expect, based on the fast rate of development of AI. Elon Musk says it better in this. Rate of change continues. Uh, that, that's why I think probably 2029 or maybe 2030 is where it, um, digital intelligence will probably exceed uh, all human intelligence combined. Um, and and there, I think it's always helpful to look at these like fundamental ratios, um, you know, sort of physics first principles approach to, to looking at things. Okay, here's a cool tidbit. One famous benchmark for achieving human level intelligence is the Turing test proposed by Alan Turing. The test asks if a machine can converse with a human in a way that's indistinguishable from another human. Passing this test would be a major sign that we've cracked the code of general intelligence. Currently, there's a debate in the AI community about whether we've even achieved narrow AI yet. Some argue that impressive tools like ChatGPT, which can generate realistic text, are simply sophisticated prediction machines. Archie here. We know AI tools like ChatGPT or Gemini excel when it comes to mimicking human output based on vast amounts of data, but would you agree that they lack true understanding or the ability to apply knowledge in new situations? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. While achieving true human-level AI might seem far off, here's where things get interesting. There are speculations on the possibility of a scenario where AI doesn't just slowly improve like we expect, but takes a giant leap forward. This rapid advancement, fueled by AI itself, is the essence of the technological singularity. Uh, now, what happens when something uh, vastly smarter than the smartest person uh, comes along in silicon form? Uh, it's very difficult to predict what will happen in that circumstance. It's called the singularity. It's, you know, it's a singularity like a black hole, because yes. you, you don't know what happens after that. It's hard to predict. Let's break down the mind-bending idea of the technological singularity. The word singularity actually is a mathematical term, and it describes a point where things get weird. Let's take a graph for instance. Normally, the line goes up and down in predictable ways, but at a singularity, the line just shoots off the chart, behaving in a way that we can't quite explain. That's kind of the idea behind the technological singularity with AI. Super intelligent machines, much smarter than anything we have today, could reach a point where they improve themselves so fast it becomes a runaway train. These AI could build even better AI in a never-ending loop that leaves humans in the dust. We wouldn't be able to understand them or control them anymore. Let's further break it down so you can grasp better. Imagine you're training a super smart dog to fetch a ball. It learns quickly, retrieves the ball flawlessly. But what if this dog, after mastering fetch, could also invent a better tennis ball launcher or train other dogs to be even better retrievers. That's the core concept behind the singularity. Today's AI excels at specific tasks like text to image and so on, but the singularity theory proposes a future where AI surpasses human intelligence altogether. It wouldn't just learn and adapt, it would improve itself at an exponential rate, designing and building even more intelligent AI. This self-upgrading loop could happen so fast that humans wouldn't be able to keep up. This tipping point, where machine intelligence races far beyond human control, is the singularity. 
Researchers on this concept have admitted that if AI reaches singularity, the world as we know it would be unrecognizable as the implications could be so devastating. Speaking of which, what are the implications of a technological singularity? The advent of artificial general intelligence is called the singularity for a reason, because just like a black hole, which is a singular singularity, it's difficult to predict what will happen. Um, so it's not as though the advent of AGI is necessarily bad, but it's bad as one of the possible outcomes. The idea of a singularity, a point where AI surpasses human intelligence, is a double-edged sword. On the bright side, it could usher in an era of unparalleled progress. Talk about scientific breakthroughs happening at lightning speed, with AI churning out Nobel Prize-worthy discoveries in a considerably short period of time. Cool, right? Here's what Elon Musk had to say about this, too. Well, I the, the, the plus side of AI is that I think productivity will increase dramatically. So across every field, whether it be manual labor to supply chain logistics, there's already a lot of movement to use chatbots, like sophisticated chatbots for customer service, for example, where they can answer quite, quite complex questions already. This could lead to a seamless fusion of humans and machine, with our minds and bodies augmented just like a prosthetic limb we could potentially unlock a deeper understanding of ourselves and the universe around us, experiencing life on a whole new level. However, the flip side of the coin is a lot darker. Brace yourselves for this. There's a real concern that super intelligent machines could see us humans as the lab rats, the less intelligent species they surpass. Just look at how humans treat animals. Not exactly a shining example of compassion, right? These super intelligent machines might see us as expendable, even a resource for them to build their own post-human world. According to Roman Yampolsky, a computer scientist at the forefront of the singularity discussion, all it takes is for AI development to continue on its current path with this very dangerous technology to emerge. Our creations could outgrow us, potentially using us as building blocks for their own future. Here's what we know. Some leading experts believe it might be closer than we think. Take Ray Kurzweil a big name in AI and futurism. He's known for making predictions that often come true, and his views on the singularity are pretty mind-blowing. Kurzweil predicts 2029 as the year AI cracks the Turing test, that benchmark where a machine can hold a conversation indistinguishable from a human. Remember, passing the Turing test is a big deal because it suggests a machine has achieved human-level intelligence. But Kurzweil doesn't stop there. He predicts 2045 as the year for the singularity itself, the point where human and machine intelligence merge, boosting our overall intelligence by a staggering billion-fold. Here's how he sees it playing out. By 2029, computers will be as smart as us, and then things get really interesting. We'll start merging with this AI, potentially putting it directly in our brains and connecting to a vast cloud intelligence. This wouldn't be some far-off sci-fi dream. Kurzweil believes it's already happening in bits and pieces, and it's only going to pick up speed. The 2030s, according to Kurzweil, might see tech that enhances our memory and connects us to a broader intelligence. Companies like Elon Musk's Neuralink are already making strides in this area. Ultimately, Kurzweil believes this merging of minds will affect everything, from solving basic human needs to expanding our creativity and artistic potential. So should we be freaking out about the singularity? According to Ray Kurzweil, the futurist we mentioned earlier, science fiction portrayals of AI enslaving humanity are just that, fiction. That's not realistic. For Kurzweil, the singularity is a chance for humans to level up. Here's his take. Machines are already making us smarter, even if they're not plugged directly into our brains yet. By the 2030s, Kurzweil predicts we'll be connecting our brains to the cloud, essentially giving ourselves a major cognitive boost. We'll be funnier, more creative, even sexier according to him. The singularity, in his view, is about amplifying what makes us human. But not everyone shares Kurzweil's rosy outlook on the singularity. Take Toby Walsh, an AI researcher who offers a more grounded perspective in his 2017 paper, The Singularity May Never Be Near. Instead of a robot uprising, Walsh sees future superintelligence as more of a gradual development, still under human control. He acknowledges the possibility of AI surpassing human intelligence, but doubts it'll happen abruptly or become self-aware enough to trigger a catastrophic singularity. It doesn't violate any laws of physics, Walsh says, but there are several reasons why it might never happen or take a very long time. Walsh argues against the idea of a sudden, uncontrollable AI explosion. He believes any super-intelligent systems would likely be human-made, developed incrementally over time. 
This would allow for safeguards and controls to be put in place, mitigating the risks Kurzweil warns about. Kurzweil thinks it's a chance to level up our brains and creativity. Walsh says it'll be gradual, with safeguards in place. Whose vision of the AGI singularity aligns more with yours, and why? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. And while we ponder whether or not to fear, policymakers across the globe are already taking action. They're brainstorming ways to regulate AI developments, ensuring safety and responsible implementation. In fact, more than 1,000 tech leaders recently called for a pause on projects that could outpace current AI capabilities, citing potential risks to society. Archie here. So, with all this talk about AI advancements, it's mind-blowing to think how fast things are changing. We're hurtling towards this whole artificial general intelligence thing, where machines might even become smarter than us. It's crazy, right? The truth is, nobody knows exactly when this AGI will happen, but one thing's for sure. We gotta be prepared for the impact, good or bad. That's why it's important to talk about this stuff now. You know, figure out how to use this powerful AI for the benefit of humanity, not some sci-fi nightmare. Speaking of powerful AI, there's another story about a mind-bending development that's changing the game. You gotta check out this next video.